All right, so as we continue to talk about ladder, one-man ladder throws, uh, we can start to talk about advanced pr uh, procedures, which are gonna help you to eliminate steps and be faster and more proficient in the deployment of ground ladders. So we've already demonstrated a one-man throw where we put the heel of the ladder into the building. Now we're gonna talk about some other options. You can see here that we're starting out with a high shoulder throw. By having the uh, ladder high up on your shoulder, it's easier to stick the butt spur of the ladder into the ground and raise the ladder without the aid of the base of the building. As you approach the building, you also want to have the ladder in a position where you're ready to raise the fly. So Brandon's carrying the ladder with the, ba the base section of the ladder towards him. That puts the halyard on the side that he's going to need it to be for his raise ahead of time. Again. We're talking about eliminating steps. So if you're able to bring the ladder off of your rig already in an orientation where you can go immediately into a raise, it's gonna make you faster and more efficient when it's time to throw that ladder into service. So as you approach the building with the ladder, you wanna to try to identify the distance that the ladder needs to be from the building in order to have the appropriate climbing angle. Typically, you can kind of eyeball that just based upon experience, but sometimes using about a ratio of one third of the overall height will get you pretty close uh, on the climbing angle. So Brandon's approached the building. He's kind of identified here. We've got a story and a half, so he's out about eight or nine feet from the building, and he's stuck the butt spur into the ground. You can see that it comes naturally off his shoulder in a position where he can go ahead and raise the ladder up into a vertical position, and he's immediately ready to go into raising the ladder. So once the ladder's in the vertical position, we need to really uh, brace our body against the ladder in a way that we can manage it and control it throughout the raising of the fly. You can see that Brandon's got his knee and both elbows against the ladder, and he's got the ladder leaning slightly back towards him so that the weight of the ladder is against his elbows. He's using gravity to his advantage and helping him to balance the ladder throughout the raise. By keeping his elbows on the beams while he moves his forearms, raising the ladder hand over hand, he'll be able to maintain solid control of the ladder. If you are in a high wind area or if you're on a very windy day, this technique may not be the most advisable. So you need to evaluate that at the time. But if it's a nice day and you feel comfortable with this procedure, again, this saves you a step of having to walk the base of the ladder out away from the building.